Hi, in this video, I will show you how you can bring back the missing mobile data on your Samsung Galaxy phone. So whether you have Galaxy S8, S9, S10, or even the Note 8 or Note 9, here's how you can bring back the missing mobile data. You can see uh, it's not on my phone at the moment. It's gone. So here's how you can bring it back. Now, there are two ways of doing this. The, I'm going to show you the easiest way first. So first, go back to your home screen, then swipe down and then swipe down again and then tap on this options menu and then choose button order and here you want to tap on the reset button at the bottom here and that should bring back mobile data you can see immediately mobile data uh, is coming back straight away so if for some reason um, you cannot bring back mobile data using that methods uh, I'm going to show you another method it is a little bit more complicated but uh, it can be done so what you want to do first is go, go into your phone, swipe down and tap on the settings icon, go the way down and then tap on about phone, and then tap on software information, then tap on the build number 7 times to enable developer options, then we go back, so go back again, and go down from the settings menu, go down and tap on developer options, make sure developer option is switch on, then go down and enable USB debugging and then tap on OK so now that USB debugging is enabled we need to um, next we need to plug the phone into the computer so we need to plug into the Windows computer and make sure that you trust you enable trust to the computer uh, it may ask uh, do you trust the computer so just uh, trust the computer on your phone I'm just going to close that Okay, the next things we want to do is to uh, download an ADB software. It is very small, it's a small file. So we go to the android.com developer tools and we download the SDK platform tools uh, right here. As you can see, I will include a link in the video description so you can easily access the tools. And here I'm just going to click on download SDK platform tools for Windows. And then you have to uh, download Android down here so click on that and download and save file click on OK it is in a zip format so you need to unzip it so open up the download folder here and I'm just going to drag it to the desktop here, right here and I minimize the browser so here's the platform tools so you can open that and then drag it out into the desktop so here I've got on my desktop is already uh, I have uh, extracted already right there platform tools if you open it up you can see all the files in here uh, the next thing we want to do is to open up command prompt so I'm just gonna go down here type in search and I'll type in command so we we'll open up command prompt right here so you can uh, do command and over here it comes up with a command prompt app so click on that so this is on Windows 10 and in here I need to go into that folder so uh, it will open up in uh, C drive user look admin so I'm going to change directory to desktop then I'll change directory to platform so I'm just going to do this to make it quicker so I just put in plat asterisk okay next I'll put in this uh, a command adb devices just to uh, make sure everything all works fine and it uh, detects my device with a serial number right there so now I'm going to put in the next command adb shell this will go into the phone so this is going to the my phone command okay uh, next we can uh, copy this command in so you can put this one in notepad and copy and paste it or you can manually type it in I'm just trying to show you uh, just an easy way I'll, I'll put all this command in the video description as well so here I'm just gonna right click and uh, once you right click on command prompt it will paste it in and press on enter it will come up with all the lists on your on your command prompt so you want to copy that because if you don't copy this list uh, when you run the next command all your items in your quick settings will be disappear so make sure that you uh, copy so it's what you do you select all of this and right click on the mouse to copy so I right click and it will copy to the clipboard and then go back to notepad and you can uh, paste it in so I'm just gonna paste it in right here and I'm just gonna make the font size smaller uh, just so that we can easily see it so there it is so it's all in there and the next thing that you want to do is to uh, 
uh, copy this settings you want to copy these settings into notepad and you see you want to put all your command that we uh, previously uh, copy so we're gonna I'm just gonna copy that and then paste it right in here so right in here and I'm just gonna erase that part there so here in here in here I've got um, my previous list what I already have and then I'll add it in at the end here mobile data I already got hotspot so I'm going I'm going to remove hotspot right there and I'll just add in mobile data into my list so um, that's the only one that's the only item that's actually is missing so I'm going to add in mobile data and I'm going to copy this whole command so right click and then click on copy now once you um, go to the command prompt you just right click on your mouse and we'll copy everything you can press on the home key on your keyboard just to go back to the beginning and then you can see the command so so here settings put secure uh, sysui qs tiles so you can see that you can use the right arrow on the keyboard and then scroll across and see what is included now once you're happy uh, simply uh, just uh, tap on enter so click on enter so on my phone here i'm just going to um, so tap on enter or press on the enter button and that's done as soon as you press on the enter it should reflect the changes on your phone immediately now you can swipe down and see uh, if mobile data is there so it is uh, there right there as you can see so now if i rerun the command and i remove mobile data and if i swipe down once more Okay, mobile data is still there, so that means uh, my list should have um, somewhere in the, in the list already have our mobile data in it. That's why uh, it's showing. So if I go somewhere in the list and remove mobile data, it will um, cause this um, option to uh, disappear. Okay, so now you can see mobile data is missing. I just removed the option and I run this command again and you can see it updates straight away mobile data will reappear again in your quick settings so that's other two different ways you can try to bring back your uh, mobile data now obviously the, the first solution is a lot easier a lot quicker but if for some reason you can't get it uh, going with the reset then you can try the second options and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos